Hello Zero K fans, welcome to Nanaloo's at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with an exhibition match stream and starting with a match between Marquis and North Chilean G on Living Lands. Oh, no reason to delay, let's get to it. Marquis in the southwest side of the map going for shield bots and North Chilean G with light vehicles in the northeast side of the map. And North Chilean G, I've seen a fair amount. Marquis haven't seen very much, so I'm not really sure how they play. And North Chilean G is, well, these are both like mid skill, like 17 ish, 100 LO players. So I'll be curious to see how they play out. And North Chilean G going very aggressive, starting out with a lot. Wow, are they going for a calm dive? Immediately, five scorchers or six scorchers are coming out of the factory, while Marquis, on the other hand, going for pretty standard opening. And now they're opening con or opening convict, and they have the the bandits, a couple bandits, several bandits coming out of their shield bot factory. But I get the impression they're being more defensive here, while North Chilean G, they're I mean, with this many scorchers and no builders, the only thing I can think of is they're trying to get four of them and go for an immediate calm dive, which they'll need five or six. That simply put, they will need five or six. This is not gonna work with just four. Between the Lotus here and well, all the bandits that'll be built in the meantime. I mean, in the time it'll take to get that far as well. And North Chilean G's kind of real, kind of revealed their strategy, but they did get rid of Marquis Builder. However, that already had reclaimed. Not a bad thing to do, regardless. I mean, that will stop Marquis' expansion plans, but it's not the biggest deal. And now, as you can see, the Scorchers are coming together. Four Scorchers, exactly enough for a calm dive. When the commander is undefended, I need to emphasize this: the commander is very much defended, or at least does have some defenses. But on the other hand, seven so far. Yeah, North Chilean G really wants to end this fast. It, like I said, five or six will be enough. This is six. This should be enough. North Chilean G coming in pretty much ready for this. Marquis, on the other hand, going for a thug right away. I'm curious as to why. I would recommend an outlaw. They must not be realizing what's happening. Oh, never mind. Outlaws are coming, but still, they aren't prioritizing outlaws. This could be bad. But their commander is right next to their defenses, right next to their units. They aren't leaving it alone. They're at least somewhat savvy to what's going on. Well, North Chilean G just advances and continues to attack. Nothing really beyond... Okay, now they're expanding a little bit. Not much, though. I mean, they're getting a few metal extractors over to the front. But this is the attack they're really relying on. This probably won't work. They, they might be able to pull it off, but I, I seriously doubt it. Just the amount of stuff coming in. The outlaw is up. Actually, ooh, nice angle. The bandit's out of the way. And the Scorcher's not... Or if they're looking for the commander, they aren't finding it. But they are getting a lot of damage done regardless. And now they found the commander. Marquis' commander actually quite vulnerable. The, those bandits are totally out of position. Allowing the Scorchers to come in and possibly deal with... No! The outlaw does the trick. Getting rid of the Scorchers before the commander is truly threatened. Completely shutting down North Chilean G's attack. Wow, okay, if that outlaw wasn't there, Markeeves would have been dead. <sighs> okay, so, counterattack coming in here with the bandits over to the northwest. Just seeing if North Chilean G has expanded, and they have, but over to the center of the map, not over to the northwest, so that's not going to work out too well for them. However, North Chilean G has no defenses in their base. They're getting levelers out, but that was a huge blow. The only thing working in their favor is that Markeeves hadn't expanded much either. However... At this point, they don't really have to. What, they got so far... Well, okay. It, 68 left, but still, that was a fair amount of metal do donated at that stage in the game. And Marquis' counterattack. So far, no losses. Two metal extractors, radar, and a mason for no loss of bandits. And no defenses in the main base either. This is totally vulnerable. I mean, the, obviously the levelers are a bit of a problem, but otherwise... That is not an issue, although... Okay, that is an issue, actually. That's a pretty big issue. Levelers are difficult to deal with. But still, North Chilean G... I mean, they do have a way of getting back in here, but they lost the forward metal extractors, expanding a little bit over to the northwest, while a very small felon ball starts to move along the center. So Mark keeps going for this felon ball, I think, too early. The outlaw made sense. The thugs kind of made sense. Let's see, what does North Chilean G have? Bunch of levelers, getting more levelers, no ravagers on the way yet, so levelers are actually fairly vulnerable to felons. 
So that could be useful. Hmm. The thing, like... Felons are a bit of a problem. And here we go. Is this gonna work? Well, it might. Actually, well, okay, the defenders do nothing, but once the levelers get in, the levelers should be able to tear apart most of these shields without too much issue. But like I said, the felon can deal with them. Let's see, what is it? Damage. Okay, it doesn't say how much... Oh, shield drain is 75 HP, which they have 1,200 of. So yeah, they can deal about 1,500 damage... Oh, no, sorry, 1,200 damage or so. So they can kill one leveler. Well, one leveler without having to drain friendly shields. Unfortunately for them, well, unfortunately for the levelers, they can't get into range. This is actually working out really well for Marquis. North Chilean G leaving these two workers idle, finally getting back to them. But they should have been building already because at this point, at this point, North Chilean G needs to be exactly on point all the time. They also need Ravagers, but they need to be on point. That's the thing. North Chilean G at this point is on the back foot. They have no, they have lost the center. They are a little bit behind economically. Marquis already taken the north, southeast and pretty much has everything worked out for that too. Making that difficult to assault. If this ball is lost, then Markeeves is once again vulnerable. Neither player really has a solid position to fall back to. And Markeeves has really overextended themselves right now. North Chilean G had overextended themselves before with that early Scorcher attack. But that's... I mean, at this point, if Markeeves loses this, well, North Chilean G is back at the advantage position. And that's going to be something that I think North Chilean G will have an easier time working with. Although Markeeves does have this solid area to the southeast that they're building up. They have that, they have... Other than that, not much, actually. North Chilean G has a little bit more economy going for them, apparently. Well, yeah, now that they have the Northwest, they're taking that, building that up. Not sure why... That must have been a misclick. And now, moment of truth. Marquis going for... Oh, are they going to go for the final attack? Looks like no. They are being really timid. They do have a bit more energy, though. And now, with the no Southeast taken, their economy is better. Switching over to gunships, however, that's going to be a bit of a problem. This is the timing that North Chilean G needs to attack in. If North Chilean G attacks now, and they're going for a side attack, bit of a raid, looks like another attempt at the calm dive with those Scorchers. If they go for another attack and it works out, that'll be great for them. Not sure that's going to happen, though. The gunship plant being, well, about a minute away. A little over a minute away. Once that's done, it'll be a problem. But on the way to being done, that's not working. I mean, just look at it. It's All the resources are going to the gunship plant. So what's here is everything. If this ball gets destroyed, that's it for Marquis. They have they have no time to actually build anything. And actually, even as it is now, the Scorch is coming in. This is still a really good timing because it's going to take a little while. The gunship plant will build up. And, actually, I'm sure it's building up. But it'll build up. And at that point, oof, man, one one downside is going up this hill. Now up the hill, the Scorchers should be able to take out the commander. The commander goes down the gunship plant, not yet done. The commander down the burst getting rid of the Scorchers, but at this point, that puts North Chilean G ahead economically and stops the gunship production. Also, they scout out the gunship production, which is nice. This is a little bit late for a super effective comm dive, but it is still an effective comm dive. I'm a bit surprised that this isn't being built up. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that the convicts aren't being prioritized here. And there's all this reclaim right now. I mean, the commander blew up in their base. It, this isn't over. Marquis isn't dead. North Chilean G needs to follow up. And Marquis actually looks like they're thinking they are dead and going to go for an attack. But not too recklessly. They had the stingers up. A bit of a position? I don't know if I'd really call that a position. It's not the best position out there, but it is a decent position. So they have their position. Marquis now accessing a bit, but... They should be able to start rebuilding, Getting if they get this gunship plant up. If they reclaim, that'll be a major mistake. And it looks like they aren't doing that either. The gunship plant just... Well, the nanoframe, rather, just staying under production. That nanoframe not doing much. North Chilean G, another attack. Nice raid over the southeast. This should prompt a counterattack, and yes, it does. So Marquis counterattacking while North Chilean G destroys the southeast side of the map. Just destroys it. There's nothing in the way of there. Whereas in the north, 
<laughs> Marquis force coming in here. These Ravagers should be enough. They need to go forward, though. They need to attack. They need to counter this. Especially now that the Felon's running out of shields. Like, as the Felon drains shields on those solar plants. I think North Chilean G has taken this. Marquis. Really, if they had started building up this gunship plant, like, really pushed into it, and then started the reclaim after they have all this stuff, all these resources being spent, they would have had four or five rapiers by now. They could have easily torn apart pretty much anything they wanted on top of the shield ball. But unfortunately, they're not focusing on that at all. They're focusing on defenses, which kind of makes sense, but they have this gunship plant that's almost done. So close to being done. And they need to be spending money. They aren't spending... They have tons of resources they are not spending on either shields or building this gunship plant up to get that going. And North Chilean G coming in for a counterattack. It looks like... Okay, the Scorchers were stopped ultimately. But it doesn't really matter. This counterattack here... I mean, it's just go. Why, why isn't it going? Just hit the shield ball. Show us the metal. I'm just curious the metal cost is. 15... Okay, there's actually more metal in North Chilean G's army as well. Seriously, 21k? Oh, that's health. Sorry, that's... 5200 to... No, it's about the same. But the important thing is the Felon is just draining all the shields on the Ravagers. The Ravagers are fast enough to get into this. And the Levelers, of course, fire through the shields too, but... Felon's just wasting all the shields. Unfortunately, they're... Why are you not moving? Line move! Line move, darn it! Why is North Chilean G not line moving? Just... Do the line move. Felon's finally gone, though. But that outlaw still has got a lot... Or rather, the rogues still have a lot they can work with dealing with these levelers. The levelers can't just go in with impunity. But this is where the Scorchers can do a lot of damage. If there were Scorchers, once the Scorchers get rebuilt, they could do loads of damage right now. What is Markeeves doing? They have... Are they even looking at their main base? I don't... I don't think so. No, they're focusing entirely on the center of the map. They aren't even looking at their main base. They started building a few shields here and there. But they are not paying attention to their main base at all. Their main base, like I said, there's a gunship plant nano frame. There is so much that can be done with that. North Chilean G is not prepared. They are prepared to spend money when they need to, and once they get more money, or, or resources, once they get more metal. And they're working in the overdrive to do so. So at this point, North Chilean G has a major advantage. Even though Marquis has the economic advantage, they are not translating it into a production advantage. I don't get why. This doesn't make any sense to me. They're, like, they're doing something. But I don't know what it is. I, can't, I don't even think they're really doing anything. That's the problem. They're Okay, I guess they're starting to push more into this... Into the Shieldbot Factory. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, the Ravagers can just tear everything apart. That's the thing. I, I mean, the Scorchers would be a good idea too, but the Ravagers are even better. Why not use Ravagers? They can tank everything, and they're fast enough to deal with these rogues. The advantage to the, Sc the Scorchers at this point would just be numbers. And that's what's coming up. Loads and loads of Scorchers. So that's their advantage, but even then, it's still going to be enough that this is basically a dead shield ball. Actually, no, not quite. No, sorry. It's not going to be quite a dead shield ball yet. The Ravagers are doing a fine job, though, but the shields are holding. At the very least, it's giving North Chilean G room to breathe. And a lot of harassment. Loads and loads of harassment opportunities. And they aren't paying attention to the southeast anymore, so these Ravagers are basically dead. However, like I said, it doesn't matter. The point is that North Chilean G has gotten a lot out of that. And Marquis hasn't really built much. They're going for another Felon. They're trying to rebuild the Felon Ball. And, I mean, they've got rid of the Ravagers, but they don't have much to work with. They have nothing to reclaim all this, and there's a lot of reclaim here. They are spending a fair amount of money, but they don't have enough energy. Like, there's 50... Wow! 1,500 metal reclaim over to the southeast. And even inside the base here, there's 700 metal reclaim. I mean, if Marquis got two or three... Just set these guys up to build four caretakers. Four... Three or four caretakers. One on reclaim, the rest on assisting... Get this gunship plant up. Marquis could easily win this game. Marquis is so far ahead in terms of their economy and production, at least in theory they are. And like I said, they have the gunship plant, which is sort of known about, but North Chilean G hasn't prepared for it at all. As far as they're concerned, Marquis has not bothered to build it. Like, North Chilean G's advantage at this point is that they're actually spending their money. 
And even then they're starting to run out. And also they have energy. They are very well stocked for energy. Marcus, on the other hand, not so much. They need to get more power plants going. Come on. Get those power plants. At this point, North Chilean G is pretty good in their position. I mean, these Scorchers, Scorcher Ravager pairs should be able to tear apart this entire shield ball here. And the problem is once the Felon gets in. But if they can get to the shield ball before the Felon does... And it looks like North Chilean G is still being rather timid about this. Like, militarily, North Chilean G is not the most ahead, but they are in a good position timing-wise. Or at least they will be for the next three or four seconds. I think they might... No, they're not, it's not going to be getting there in time. They will be able to harass this out as well, though. So this is still gone. The Southeast once again being destroyed. And the Felon, unfortunately, is in range. These Scorchers are as good as dead. And once again, North Chilean G, use the freaking line move! For crying out loud, it's a thing in the game. Use it. It's there for a reason. Like, North Chilean G has lost so many units to splash damage. Especially, I think, because I'm pretty sure that the Disarm has some splash damage to the Racketeer. They've lost so many units to splash damage. Like, just line move your army, for crying out loud. You're not supposed to point move in this game. Same with the Marquis. Oh, actually, Marquis, I fault less because shield bots are actually meant to ball up. Although, you can't. if you're really clever, you can actually get just enough. You can kind of get it small, so it's still a line or still a small group without being too close together. Because the shields have to be connected. They don't have to all be bunched up. Like, the connection's transitive. But man, North Chilean G just lost everything because they aren't line moving. Ah! Line move, line move, line move, line move, line move. This is what the game is about. Like, this is such a huge part of Zero K's interface. Line move! I just can't believe they're not using it. Air switch for North Chilean G, which honestly is a little bit late. And the gunship's plant is done! There we go, Marquis. Come on, Marquis. Pay attention. You're accessing. But yeah, it's like, that, that's done. That's done. I can see why Ikens has the build E widget, though. <laughs> Sheesh. That would be handy here. And also a widget for, hey, you're accessing metal, come on! Uh, North Chilean G, on the other hand, really using that metal. Mark you spending a bit, like I said, they excess loads of metal there. And that commander did far less for them than it should have. The airplane plant coming in with... What is it coming in with? Thunderbird! Very good choice. North Chilean G going for the counter. This should take out the shield ball, no problem. And the gunship plant's not being built. Or rather, it's not doing anything. I think... I think Marquise is paranoid that North Chilean G has this shadow force of crashers. Like, they just have this hidden force of crashers just hanging out in the back of their base, just waiting. Just waiting for the gunships to come out. And then they'll tear them to shreds. This is not the case, as we can clearly see, but then again, Marquis doesn't know that. However, I don't know that that's the case. Marquis might just be forgetting about the gunship plan. But I think this probably is the case, because there is a bit of an attitude that once air is scouted, it's useless. Like that air is only as good as it is a surprise maneuver. Which isn't really true, because it still forces your opponents to split up between anti-air and anti-ground forces. And it still has a lot of utility on its own, especially with, say, the Thunderbird, which should be used by now. What the heck? I don't know. No chilling G, you, you've got the Thunderbird. Go for it. Kill the thing. Well, not so much kill, but, you know, stop it. Disarm it, rather than being disarmed yourself. Well, North Chilean G going for yet another attack on the southeast side, but Marquis can go for a counterattack. I mean, okay, sure, the Thunderbirds might be a problem, but unless the Thunderbirds hit perfectly, that's still going to be problematic for any Scorchers. The defense forces are not enough to deal with this. Now, the Rage should be pretty good, although, admittedly, maybe not. That Stardust is going to be a major problem. Yeah, that got rid of most of the Scorchers. The Ravagers are still pretty solid, but the Scorchers are dead. However, this Ravager force might... Actually, this is done. There's nothing in the way, come to think of it. There are Tridents coming up. Okay, that's nice. Why hasn't this been used yet? Like, the Thunderbird. What the heck, North Chilean G? You have Thunderbirds right there. Use them. I don't understand the logic there. I really don't. It doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> anyway. Looks like that is probably... 
still going to be a lot of damage for North Chilean G, but like I said, their defense forces are not in their main base. The Tridents are here already. Get Why are the Thunderbirds not doing anything? This is so frustrating because this is what you build Thunderbirds for. <sighs> there we go. Finally get some damage in. Some, but not the Felon, sadly. And once again, Dot moving. These Scorchers need to be line moved. Line move and then come in. That did not work, even with the Thunderbird. Partly because it missed the Felon. Mostly because dot moving doesn't work. Finally, some line moving going up. It's like, dot moving does not work with Scorchers. <sighs> I don't know why the Ravage is being line moved and nothing else. That I find really bizarre. I mean, clearly, North Australian G knows line moving is a thing. They just don't seem to be using it for the units that need it most. Remember, units cannot shoot through each other. That's one of the big reasons for line moving. Part of it's survivability. Part of it's that units simply cannot fire if they're in each other's way. Now we have a bit of a base trade situation, but I'm pretty sure Marquis will take this. I'm pretty sure because those Banshees are still going to be an issue to get through, and at this point, North Chilean G has far less in the way of defensive forces. Yeah, North Chilean G is kind of done here. Forced to retreat, forced to defend, and that that gives Marquis the opening they need. And then there'll be about five or six Banshees coming in here, and that should finish things off. Ah, the commander's already been killed. Unceremoniously killed. Scorchers trying their best, but yeah, that's the thing. North Chilean G, remember to use line move on Scorchers. It's so important. So hugely important, because they cannot shoot through each other. Ravagers is actually less important for because they usually fire up, kind of upwards. They have a bit of an angled fire. They can see you have two Ravagers right here, one in front of the other, but they're firing above each other. They have an arc shot. Not so for Scorchers. Yeah, at this point, Marquis, North Chilean G, both in a situation with no factories. Finishing this off is going to be troublesome. Although it looks like North Chilean G has no workers. Wait, really? Yeah! North Chilean G throws in the towel, they have no way to rebuild. Well, Marquis does, and that was... Oh boy. Let's just go on to the next game. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude to Marquis and North Chilean G, but... I just... I, I probably shouldn't be yelling or being annoyed about... Missed opportunities, but there were a lot of missed opportunities. I mean, I shouldn't be of all people, because I'm not the best player in the world, but... It's like, yeah, line move. I guess just line move in particular. Line, not getting line move. Not doing line moves annoys me because I like line move a lot as a thing. Anyway, next game, which is going to be between Felthos and Marquis. So the winner of last game against Felthos on La Isla Bonita, which Felthos had a hard time on last time. So we'll see how this works out. I think it'll be closer to even than it might look given the elo values just because it seemed like Felthas had a hard time in this map then again Marquis is being very defensive on this game as well so I don't know <laughs> might have this problem for both sides so stay tuned for that we'll see how that goes in just a moment